Hi and welcome to my workshop. My name is Thomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. On today's topic we're going to be making a family birthday calendar so you will never forget birthdays of your closest. Now I'm quite bad with remembering all the dates so it will be an absolutely perfect project for me. In this case I'm going to be using this absolutely fantastic and beast of a laser, Creality Falcon 2 with 22 watt module. I will also give you all the free downloadable files for this project so you can tackle that yourself with a laser or with a scroll saw or even a jigsaw. But let me take you step by step through this project and remember to watch the whole video to find out how you can get your downloadable free files. Okay then, let's jump into the software first. I'm using Lightburn. Um, it's a paid version, but you do get 30 days for free and you can use it and mess around with it. So as you can see, the first layer is already in the software. On the right hand side, you've got some options there. So I've just changed it to line as we want to cut this item out, not um, engrave it. I'm going to change the settings here. Um, as you can see, that's what I'm going to be using to cut out the shape. And this actually has got a very interesting option, Air Assist. The laser I'm using has got built-in Air Assist, which is super important when you try to cut something out. And it's an absolutely fantastic feature, which I'm going to show you a little bit more in just a few minutes. Okay, we can click OK now. And basically we're ready to go. First of all, we're going to frame the whole thing so we can see uh, where we are and if the position of our material is in the right place. After that, we're just going to press play and the laser will do its thing. As I mentioned, the whole laser comes with this integrated air assist. So this is the air pump with some rubber feet, really nice feature there. And you can control the airflow from that pump in two ways. First of all, on the machine itself, you've got this um, adjustment wheel here. And also, as I showed you, you can change it in the software as well. Now, check this out. This laser module comes with some really cool safety features. You've got three LEDs, air, fire and air lens. OK, so as you can see, the air is flashing red, which means there is no airflow from the pump. However, we are controlling that through the software and as soon as we press start, the um, red flashing light will turn into green as the pump is now controlled by the software itself. Absolutely fantastic feature there. And what the other things do? Well, the lens indicates if the lens is dirty. If it's dirty, it will start flashing red and you need to clean it out. And the fire indicator is exactly as you would think. If your project catches fire, it will tell you that straight away. So as you can see, it's a very intelligent and high-tech module here in this Creality Falcon 2. On top of that, you've got a few other options when it comes to safety. As you can see, you've got a lock here and a, an emergency stop button. So you can be assured if anything happens, you are covered in both scenarios. And if you were looking for the reset button, it's just located on the module itself. Okay, let's uh, just wait for the laser to finish cutting this piece out and we're gonna go to the next stage. Right then, and the background of our design is now sorted. As you can see, the laser has done absolutely fantastic job in this 3mm ply no overburn, no nothing. Great job. Now it's time to cut out the top layer of our design. Uh, same settings as before for the cutout. And check that out. So much detail in this design. And the laser has done absolutely fantastic job. Look at that tree. You know, the quality of the cut with this laser is astonishing. No overburn, no nothing at all. And it's just the quality of the cut is fantastic really nice i really do like how it came out okay now it's time to sort out the name tags in the software itself you actually do have an option to engrave and cut at the same time so what we're going to do i'm going to select the uh, outline and i'm going to change it to red 
now I'm going to select the text itself and let's do blue okay on the right hand side now we've got two things two layers okay so the blue needs to be fill that means it will engrave it okay and we need the engravement to be at the top so um, you know we're not going to have issues where it's going to cut out first and then engrave later as you can see with the engravement i'm turning the air uh, uh, assist off as we don't want to have that and change all the settings as you can see now the air pump is still going to be working just at reduced amount of airflow when the air assist is off now for the other layer that we're going to be cutting out we need to change it to line and i'm just changing it to the other settings as we had 300 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and the air assist is on now we can frame our design so we know exactly where we are and after that we'll press start and off it goes and look at that they come out absolutely great no issues at all the laser cut out and engraved at the same time from one file i've made a mistake here though i wonder if you can notice that if not i'll tell you a little bit later however you know this laser is a lot more capable than just three millimeter ply that's why i want to show you what it can actually do right now check this out that 16 millimeter pine board and this laser with 22 watt module can cut through that in only two passes check it out at this point i just wanted to say a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video which is creality themselves thank you for providing the machine for testing and project work as well as i say this laser is absolutely a beast 16 millimeter pine board and look at that there's hardly any scorch on it any burn on it look at that just to you know show you that that's 16 millimeters in thickness absolutely fantastic performance and so much power in the module itself and you can see how clean the cut is how about engraving other materials like steel well look at that no issues at all in this case the settings were 300 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and check out the quality of that engraving steel for this machine no problem at all and look at that you can actually get different shades on steel as well fantastic performance as we are on the topic of performance for this machine check this out it can actually engrave at 25,000 millimeters per minute absolute amazing speed obviously the video itself is sped up five times otherwise we would be sitting here for about five minutes and look at that 25,000 millimeters per minute 100 percent power usually you will get just a light shade but this machine is absolute beast the engraving is so vivid and it's actually quite deep so much power in the module okay let's get back to our project now as you can see i'm adding some wood stain to the base to the background of our project and um, the wood stain i'm using is rustic oak but obviously it can go any color i just think this will look really really nice and that's why i'm using it now we need to combine both of the pieces the back and the front so i'm adding some wood glue to the front panel making sure I'm not adding too much of the glue so I'm not going to have any squeeze out you actually don't need that much you know it will hold there won't be any issues with that so just go light with the wood glue after you put both of the pieces together making sure everything's aligned correctly add some weight on top of it I'm just adding some paint on it and let it cure now for the middle parts of some of the letters like A, B and D um, I'm just using some CA glue to glue them in place you know it will um, cure in few seconds rather than the wood glue itself that needs at least 30 minutes now as a way to finish this project I'm just using spray varnish it's just the easiest way to apply it to this type of project this 3d project that has got layers so as you can see it's nice easy quick and simple and it's very durable
and the mistake I was talking about was the name tag. Somehow I've cut out the ones with only one holes in them, but obviously you need two at the top and at the bottom. To attach the name tags, I'm actually going to be using these um, keychain uh, rings, metal rings. You can buy them in bulk on Amazon for really, you know, pennies. Uh, not expensive at all. It's just the best thing uh, f to use in this project. To keep with the style of this project, I'm going to use this string as the way of mounting the whole calendar onto our wall. So, it, you know, it's an easy way to mount it or hang it somewhere. Uh, you know, not much of a hassle at all. And check that out. I think it came out absolutely great. And... I'm never gonna forget about anybody's birthday now as I'm really bad with that. So really cool and simple project that was all possible to the Creality Falcon 2 with 22 watt module. It's absolutely a beast and this project is just showing a slight, a tiny amount of its capabilities. Obviously the additional testing showed you, I hope, that it is a very capable machine. Now, I'm super happy how this came out. I'm gonna leave you some free files for this if you want to do something similar. Obviously, you have to fill in your uh, dates and names on this, but uh, yeah, definitely one project that I'm really proud of and I'm happy that I've made it. Now, if you are interested in this particular laser, I do have links for it that are down below in the description of this video so you can read a little bit more about the machine itself and see what it's all about. And currently, as this video is live, uh, there is an offer on this laser as well. So definitely go and head have a look and check it out. Now, I also got plenty more videos, projects like this with lasers, but also workshop related projects, jigs and everything else. Has a really cool playlist just over here for you so if you're interested have a look maybe a video will pique your interest so i hope to see you on those videos there take care